Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play NES games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing RetroArch. This is going to be the free emulator we're going to be using for today's video to play NES games. So the first thing you want to do is get this downloaded and installed. Once this is installed, we're going to be searching for and installing one more app. Now, this is more of an optional app, depending on what format your games come in. But this is going to be an app called the Archiver. We may need this a little bit later to extract our games. It's another free app for your Android device that I'd recommend having regardless. It's great for file management, compression and extraction, and it's a nice app to have. So once you have both of these installed, the first thing we're going to be doing is opening up RetroArch. And if this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage. From this point, what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top. Here we'll see a list of all available and downloaded cores on our Android device. In this case, what we're going to be doing is downloading a new core. You can simply look for the download a core option here at the very bottom. Once this opens up, we'll see a list of all available cores for our RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is scrolling down until we see Nintendo and we're looking for Nintendo dash NES and you'll see slash Famicom. And here you'll see a couple different versions. In this case, I was using the top version right here, FCEUMM. However, if you're having some issues, you can install the other ones as well. And you can experiment and test using the different cores. To install a core, you simply click on it once. Some text will appear at the bottom to say downloading. Once the text disappears, your core is installed and you're ready to go. From this point, we can click back on the top left. We can then click the load core option. And then we just select the core we just downloaded, which is right here. Simply click on it and your core will be loaded. From this point, we're going to be talking about games and I'm going to be backing out of here and I'm going to be opening up Z Archiver. Now Z Archiver is what we're going to be using to extract games if they come in a certain format. And as you can see, I have my NES folder here. And right now at the moment, I have my Super Mario Bros. tree downloaded. So I will mention in today's video, I'm not going to be showing you where to download games. Although games are really, really easy to find, a quick Google search will help you out and you'll find them really easy. In this case, it is in a .zip format. And because these games are so small, it is possible for RetroArch to read directly out of a .zip file. However, if your games come in a .7z or a .rar format, you will need to extract them. To extract a game, we can really easily do this with RetroArch by simply clicking on your game once. And then here we'll have one of two options to extract here, which will extract the game in its current location. Or we can click extract dot 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 and we can choose where we want the game to extract to. In this case, we can extract the game game here and you'll see your game will be in a .NES format and that's exactly what we need for this emulator. From this point we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be going back to RetroArch. Since we've already loaded our core what we're going to be doing is clicking the load content option right here and then we're going to be locating to where our game is downloaded. In my case I already have an NES folder specifically for this and as you can see my NES game file is right here. I can simply click on this once and because we have our core downloaded it'll instantly load it up with this core and you can see your game will start playing right away. Now this is a really old console so most phones should be able to play this without any problem and it should load and work pretty well. Now, one extra thing I would recommend doing is connecting up an external controller to this. You can do this over cable or via USB. I have a previous video showing you step-by-step -step how to add a controller to RetroArch. I'll leave a card on screen. I'll link that in the description down below. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play NES games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.